Hello, Jane, Yuki. My name is Errol. You commented on my soundboard, actually, because I played a song, your song, uh, Muted, on the Daily Bombcast. And so you actually know, at least uh, kind of know who I am. Most of the comment, video comments I've been leaving, uh, they've been for new fomlings, and they don't know who in the world I am. But thank you very much, and your song is Awesome. I am, this is your video comment, and we are going to be talking about Muted. You played it on the ukulele, and it's this bluesy torch song, song, and it was really cool and very, very mellow. It made me feel relaxed, which is kind of cool. I don't know if you wanted to feel relaxed, because it, it's very emotive, I guess you could say, right? It has um, symbolism in there about kinder eggs you know what i think torch song i think torchlight which is like a video game um it's a newer one and and it's like a diablo clone or whatever and i played it for a little bit but i didn't i mean i just solved it one time i didn't constantly go into the crypts and try to level and buff my guys or anything like that but it was fun and it could be a song that you could play except it's a bit more i don't know i guess if you're in a crypt killing off monsters, you want it to be more uh, um, minor key. I, I mean, there might be minor. Are there minor keys in this song? I mean, it's very more of a relaxed kind of, you know, you're sitting on, maybe kind of like you're sitting on a porch. You can imagine it like for some sort of, oh, I don't know, soundtrack for uh, uh, an introspective part of, a, of, of the show where they're thinking about their relationship and their looking off into the distance and this is playing in the background that's probably good you probably wouldn't really use it or maybe you are maybe if you're killing off hordes of monsters and you're trying to talk about the how futile it is that they just keep on coming and yet you work and work and it's in the slow motion montage of I don't know what do I know actually I don't come up with soundtracks for video games or or TV shows, but it was really cool, and um, and I like the reverb, and I like the way that your voice sounds. Uh, it's, it's great that bluesy, uh, that bluesy sound that you have to your voice. It was it was really nice, and so I enjoyed listening to it and playing it on the Daily Fomcast. There are a lot of things I don't understand about your song because I'm not very simple like that, like your lips shaped the last wedge and that reminds me of oranges and I, I brought this up in another comment like a year ago so I don't mean to repeat myself but you know how you take like an orange wedge and then you just when you cut it and slice it and then you go and you hold it in your mouth if I had an orange I would show you because it's all sorts of cool and then you go around with your lips around the rind and going I got an orange in my mouth that's what I'd do because it was lots, lots of fun. And then you find the other orange slice. Because oranges in slices can taste really good. I'm thirsty now. Your song is cool. Thank you very much. I hope your farm goes great. Welcome to farm. And I hope you get another 13 songs. Then I I should check how many more songs you have left. You have two up. Woo! Look at you go. And you got a whole whack of influences. Let's see. Nancy Sinatra. Cool. Gorillas. Johnny Cash. Look, there's somebody in there that I'll probably recognize, because I don't recognize a lot of people in general. But it's all sorts of awesome. So take care of yourself, and hopefully uh, I'll see you again later. Well, not literally. Maybe hear from you, song-wise. Bye-bye.